Soon, my little treasure, you will meet your father. Won't be long now. Well, my little one, you'll still be safe here. <laughs> but, but, that's only Sancho. You mustn't be afraid of him. Maybe he was thirsty. That's why he wanted to go into the water. Do you have something for us, Tico? I'm coming! <laughs> Give the coconut to him. Drink, little one. <laughs> Strange little Mikey isn't even able to drink. Of course not. I'm going to take him home with me. He will learn to behave like a real monkey. Do you think Dragon would agree? Oh, oh I have my doubts about that. That's the panther. You have to beware of him. He is dangerous. A cute little fellow, but a little anxious, I think. Tabo is always that noisy when he says hello to somebody. He doesn't mean it. He's our friend. <laughs> a clever little fellow. Maybe he will turn out all right. What are you going to do with him, Sheena? I'll take him home with me. I'm sure I will be a good mother for him. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Sheena. Where are you going with that thing you have? He belongs to me. Don't worry. Don't you see? He's different from us. I forbid you to keep him. He is only a little lighter and hasn't much hair. He can't even walk properly. He'll never be a real monkey. He's a very special monkey. He will learn quickly. Roger will teach him everything. It doesn't look like it to me. Don't be so obstinate. Ah, well, I agree. But if he causes trouble, he will have to leave. Yeah. You are lucky, my little one. Dragon is able to get quite mad. What will you call him, your little son? Hmm. What do you think about Lord? Lord? Lord sounds good. <laughs> Lord? 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 Exactly. You are Lord. Mama, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is Tabo. That's right. We both will be good friends, little Lord.
Go and play. What a difference. That lord is completely retarded. Chili is able to climb either. Of course he's able to climb, but somebody has to show him how it's done. Go on, Roger. Show him. Now you, Lord. <laughs> what have I told you? Throw him away. Who should be thrown away? Him. He isn't even able to climb. And he wants to be a monkey? Wow. But he doesn't give up. He's determined. Come on, Lord. Yeah, do what you want. He won't live long anyway, you know. Jump down, little Lord. It's easy. Don't fall, my little one. You have to jump. I did it for you. Lord and Roger were never apart. Roger taught him the animal language and took care of him wherever they were, and that was very often necessary. But soon Lord moved quite self-assured through the jungle. Now it was his home, and the monkeys became his friends. He wasn't as strong as his friends, but that didn't matter. Instead of this, he had a rich imagination. going around. I just heard him. Wait, Pino. <laughs> I'm sure he would like that. <laughs> daddy, Daddy, Lord and Raja are making me angry. Ah, wait, you fellows, and they are catch you. Then I'll eat you all, including your hair and your skin. Ah. Just as I thought. Here you are. I heard Kimo screaming. Now don't overact, Lord. Be a good boy. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. You wouldn't be the first monkey Kimo has eaten. And I wouldn't like to lose you, my little boy. Is there any news? Everything's the same. Dragon and Lord are arguing like always. No matter what I do, he always starts grumbling. That's the way he is. Get out of his way. It's a fact he's stronger than you are. Still, but I'm smarter. That's right. Dragon is very upset because Lord had the idea with the blowpipe, and it wasn't his idea. <laughs> By the way, I found out something much better. Come on, Roger. What have you found? Wait. Be careful, Roger. <laughs> that was close. Did you see? Dundee had his mouth opened. I rescued you. Now I'll take care of you. We have to tell this dragon immediately. <laughs> I don't understand. That's a normal liana. Sure, but it depends on what you do with it. Wait. <laughs> Stop. Don't you want to untie him? He's just crying. Rubbish. Those are crocodile tears. They're not real. Just you wait, you strange monkey. I'll get you. <laughs> Come on, give me your wonder weapon. Which wonder weapon? Which one, you ask? The one you used to catch Dundee. Oh, that wonder weapon. That was just a liana. Do you want to make a fool of me, my boy? 
No, it's true. Show him, Lord. <laughs> Give it to me. Lord, that wasn't good. You made a fool of Dragon. Promise you won't do that ever again. It's Dragon's fault. He knows that I'm smarter and faster. Lord. Okay, okay, I promise. It doesn't sound very convincing, but Sheena and Raja took care that the two of them didn't start squabbling too often. And with the exclusion of Dragon, the other monkeys loved little Lord more and more every day. And it never occurred to Lord to be different from his friends. Yes, until one day. Here comes Lord. <laughs> okay, just you wait, my boy. Watch out, Lord. Dundee is bound to be lurking somewhere. So what? The hippie has had babies. Perhaps we can see. Hey, Lord, you're supposed to be afraid. <laughs> Roger! Roger! Exactly! And now you have to run away! Quickly, Roger! They're in the water! What's there? I don't see anything! Me? But that's not me! Of course that's you! But, 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 I look different! I look different from you and from Mother and Dragon! You have always looked different! You are a white monkey! Everybody knows that! <laughs> but I don't want to look different! I want to be like you all! Ah, I can understand that. Once in a while, our family, we had a white crocodile. He looked like a ghost. No, I wouldn't want to look like that either. Lord, what are you doing? I guess I look better now. That doesn't work. And when the mud dries, it will it's all over. Real unpleasant. Is that so? My dragon doesn't like me. I'll go away. I'll never come back. Everyone's going to laugh at me. Quick, Gina. Tarzan's crying. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's so bad, my dear? Why don't I look like you? Really, I'm ill. Nonsense, Lord. You are not ill. You just look like your father. He was a handsome, strong, white monkey. But I've never seen a white monkey. They are something very special and rare. Ask anyone. That's right, that's right, very, very rare. I never heard about white monkeys. Do they taste good? And where's my father now? I don't know. White monkeys come and go. Nobody knows where they're coming from and where they're going to. I won't go. I'll stay with you. Little by little, he came to terms with the fact that he didn't look like his family. And after a while, he forgot about it. One day, Dragon told the monkeys to walk south to get more food. But it was very hot summer. The grass had withered and been eaten all around their camp. Never since the day Sheena had found the little lord had they had to walk as far.
I'll take a look at this. What happened here? Come on, it's an enchanted place. Many years ago, a giant bird crashed down to the earth and burned everything. Everything started here. What started here? Be quiet, dragon. Just leave me alone. Come on. Roger, what's that strange thing? I'm going to have a look at it. Dragon! Come back! This is crazy! Shin is going to kill me. If anything happens to him, there could be anything hidden in there. What do you have through there? Do you think they're white monkeys like me? The fleece is different, but otherwise... Mm, I don't believe that. They're so tiny. You are much bigger. Lord, come here. I found something. Awa. What? Ow. How did that happen? That thing there. I just touched it and then... Brilliant. Come on, Lord. The others are gone. I want to go home. Now what? Leave it there. I'm sure it's dangerous. At home, the excitement had settled down. Lord was sitting on the floor at a suitable distance from Dragon. He examined his treasure. Suddenly, the medallion opened and he saw a little picture. It was a picture like the ones he saw in the books. Lord brightened up. The medallion was made of gold and glittered and sparkled in the sun. Dragon became very inquisitive, but that didn't help him, because he couldn't see what was going on. What's that? Give it to me! No, it belongs to me. Things are going from bad to worse with you. Give that to me! Ah. No! Ah. <laughs> Run away, Lord, quickly! Who is after you? Dragon, I've hurt him, and I can never go back home. He's gonna kill me. There you are. Dragon is very mad. Oh, oh. What did I tell you? Wait, Lord. I'm going to talk to Dragon. I know how to handle him. Do you think that'll work? I'm going to kill that little white monkey. That stupid one. Who does he think he is, huh? He is someone very special. And he's protected by powerful ghosts. You should have noticed that by now, old man. <coughs> Believe me, the ghosts will kill you if you hurt him. Yes, you just had a little taste of it now. That's true. Tabo's right. Tarzan is protected by ghosts. That's how he could hurt you. Ah, leave me alone. Is that true about the ghosts? No idea. I've never seen one. 
From this time on, Dragon left Lord alone. Unwillingly, but he did. In the jungle, the message spread like wildfire that Lord had overcome Dragon. All the animals respected him now. But Lord went to the hut again and again. Sometimes he stayed there for some days and read the books. On these days, Raja went out alone. She wasn't interested in looking at books. And so the years passed by. What's wrong? Dragon is dead. Dragon died. Dragon died. He loved me. Died. The old monkey died. king is dead. He's dead. He's dead. Monkey's died. Make room. Let him pass. We need a new king. Lord is the cleverest one of us. I propose Lord. It has nothing to do with me, but I support that request. <laughs> we agree, we agree, we agree, we agree. We agree. Oh. And you told me he would never be a real monkey. Tell her, my friend, will you help me? Of course, Lord. Someone has to give you a piece of their mind sometimes. Lord, quickly, Lord, come on, Lord, Lord. You hear what you want. <laughs> The river. If you lost your tongue, something terrible must have happened. Why are you sitting around here so lazily? Come on, bring the stuff up here. That's an order. Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, look at this. A ficus benjaminus. A very rare plant. Not now. Daddy we will be here for four weeks. Maybe four weeks is a long time for you, but science is just seconds. <laughs> very good. Daddy, so Stuart, we are not the only ones here. Somebody lives here. Not the only ones. Is Africa overpopulated too in the meantime? Somebody lives here. I won't stay. We will be going on. <laughs> stay here. Let Sir Stuart take a look. Hey, they look a bit like you. Shh. Do you understand them? Not a single word. It looks deserted and only animals. That's fine. I was afraid that charlatan Professor Armstrong had arrived before me. Stop. Where are you going? Where do you think? I'm staying here. I'm going to explore this continent. But not now and not alone. That's too dangerous. Miss Bloomsdale, Miss Bloomsdale, you have to have a look at this. Now I will find out what white monkeys taste like. Be careful, Miss Bloomsdale. What happened? Lord, what happened? It sounds like that thing that Dragon took in his hand when we came here for the first time. Right, I'm getting out of here. Go, I'm going to find out what's going on here. Who lived here? What do you think happened to him? My goodness, Lord Greystoke. Who? Lord Greystoke, do you remember? The missing lord. He lived here. It's written here. Right here. Looks like a diary. It is a diary. Everywhere there's dust and dirt except for the book. <gasps> somebody. There's somebody out there. He looked in the window. 
there's nobody here. Maybe it was a monkey. Daddy, he is alone out there. Imagine if he were to meet some kind of a monster. Professor, Professor, Professor Bloomsdale. Oh, Alephandra, Scorosa, and Epigra, Spiralis. This is a scientific sensation. <laughs> Professor Armstrong will be green with envy. <laughs> Ah, a specimen of the family of Primratus. Come on, my little one. What a pity. I would like to do a little experiment with you. Ah, maybe later. Why doesn't that old monkey climb up a tree? He should have heard Kimo by now. I don't know this plant. It's not described in any scientific book. I will name it after me. Flora Blooming Dallas. A <laughs> uh, uh, Leo Africanus. He is just running around here free. Curious man, taciturn, curiously dressed. Sir, I would like to talk with you, but someone is waiting for me. They should have signs here. Of course, I'm confused. Um, uh. Excuse me, please. Can you show me the way back home? Of course, he doesn't understand me. We're not in England. Excusez-moi, pardon, excusez-moi. Hablo espanol, uh, italiano. Oh, 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 hopefully I know what he is doing. Here we are, old monkey. He is able to speak. Uh, hmm, hmm. But it's a curious language. Anyway, it's a beginning. Thank you very much, sir. I uh, enjoyed your company. I can't leave you alone for a single minute. We were really worried. Sir Stewart, couldn't you do that a little more quietly? You're chasing objects of my research. They're gone. That's just a sign that you came back, Professor. Don't worry about me. The people are very kind here. People? Yeah. Where is he hiding? He is gone. Well, you will meet him later. I'm sure you will. He'll, he'll be around. Professor, who are you talking about? Mm, later. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to sleep. Daddy, wait. We discovered something, too. Lord Greystoke lived here, here in the hut. So, so. Lord Greystoke? How is he? I give up. And is it true what they say? Are there really white monkeys who have come to visit us? I guess so, but I can't understand them. They speak a different language, Tabo. You are old. Do you know anything about white monkeys? Oh, not much, Lord. I only ever saw one once, and that was a long, long time ago. What happened to him? I guess he met Kimo. Maybe he even ate him. That's right, they're very careless, but... But what? The white monkey woman. She's beautiful. More beautiful than Sheena and the other monkey girls. Why don't you catch her then? I think I'm more beautiful, but if you think... Don't be offended, Raja. Hmm. Tabo, what do you think they're doing here? 
No idea, but I think we'll have to find out. Very interesting, isn't it? Lord Greystoke lived in that hut. I told you that yesterday, Daddy, but you never listened to me. Hmm, the last entry reads, Tomorrow I will see my family again at last. But as far as I know, this never happened. Now, sir, the plane which Lady Greystoke and her son had taken presumably crashed. Hmm, if I am not mistaken, that happened 18 years ago, right? What's right? Hmm, just an idea. I have to work now. But not alone. Well, man, let's start. Find out where the elephants have their watering hole. Then we'll shoot our first elephant tomorrow. Now you can catch her. The old monkey doesn't look very strong. Papa Gallius Minimalis. Red head, blue legs. Did you write that down, Linda? Yes, yes, legs blue, yeah. Ah, oh, my young friend. Come on, sir, I want to introduce you to my daughter. Well, don't be so impolite, Linda. Introduce yourself. Um, but, but... Linda, I thought I had brought you up better. Well, his clothes are not really the kind he should wear around a young lady, but we are not at the Queen's reception. Lord. Professor Bloomsdale, and that's Linda. My daughter, Linda. Linda? Well, now that we have been introduced, I want to go on. Linda, please write this down. Ah, uh, Daddy! Linda? <sighs> I have to say, curious customs, but interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to write a book about it. Linda. You won't hurt me, will you? You are very beautiful. Sorry, I don't understand you. What's that? May I look at it? Oh, that's Lord Greystoke and his wife. I guess it belonged to Lady Greystoke. And the child. Come on, I have to show this medallion to my father. Out of the way, Miss Bloomsdale. Stop! Don't shoot! Out of the way, Miss Bloomsdale. He's a wild man. Yes, no, no, look! Here you are. Did you amuse yourselves well? Here. It's just as I thought. There is some similarity. Oh, what am I saying? There is quite a bit of similarity between the picture and our uh, Mr. Lord. And... He could be Sir Greystoke's son. Do you really think so? Hmm, a good barber, a good tailor, why not? Very interesting. Maybe he is the young lord. Well, I should say was the young lord. Now he's a wild man. Lord, come on! You are still here, you are still our leader. You can't spend all your time with those curious monkeys. Don't be afraid, Raja. I haven't forgotten you. He is able to talk with the monkeys. He speaks the animal's language. He has to teach me. Imagine! <laughs> Introduction to the language of animals by Professor Bloomsdale. He grew up in the jungle. He's dangerous. But Professor Bloomsdale and his daughter were fascinated by Lord. And Lord looked at Linda all the time, all day. The professor and Linda tried to teach Lord their language. Lord was 
Like you know, very clever, and he remembered the words. And so they were soon able to talk to each other. The professor could hardly believe that Lord had even been brought up by the monkeys and had become their leader. And I think Linda fell in love with Lord that very first day. When darkness fell, Lord swung home happily to his camp. What's the matter? You're looking so sad. Raja told me you spend all your time with those white monkeys, especially the monkey woman. She's beautiful. She told me I was a white monkey like her. You belong to us. Don't let them talk you into anything. But he doesn't. He doesn't care about anything else. He's in love. Come on, Raja. In order to take care of you, I have to know what they're doing. Sure. They came to take him back after all these years. I won't allow that. I'm his mother. I have brought him up. Anyway, I won't let them take him away. Linda, listen to this. Today, my wife wrote me that my little son was burned by a candle. The mark on his thumb will be there forever. If this is true, we will ask Mr. Lord to show us his hand. And if he really is the young Lord Greystone, you wouldn't take him to England, would you? Why not? He is smart and clever. I could teach him everything. So, what do you mean? You like him, hmm? <laughs> That's okay, Linda. And I insist that this lord is a dangerous wild man. Let's go. Where are you going? We're going elephant hunting. Come here, come here, my dear Mr. Lord. There is a need to prove something. Would you please show me your thumb? It's him, Daddy. Look at the mark. It is him. Lord Greystoke. It's an honor. are the young Lord Greystoke. The pictures in your medallion are your father's and mother's in pictures. I can't believe it. Sheena's my mother. No, Mr. Lord. Sheena just brought you up. She isn't your mother. No, she's not. You belong with your family in England. Your family are the Greystokes. And if you come with us, we could be together forever. Why can't we be here together? But think it over, Mr. Lord. You become an English lord if you come with us. And Linda? Oh, well. I'll give you my uh, blessing. Say yes, Lord. Come with us to England. Lord! Lord! I knew it! The white monkeys! Hurry! What's the matter? They killed Tabor! The white monkeys have killed Tabor! Lord! Tabo, my friend. They have just killed Tabo, and then... His tusks! They have ripped him out! His tusks! <laughs> what do you think, Professor? Aren't they wonderful specimens? Must have been an old elephant. They'll bring us a lot of money. Oh, it looks like you're in trouble. Oh, 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 oh. No, Lord, don't hurt him. 
He killed Tarbo. Tarbo's my friend. He's a beast, I told you. He's a beast. That's what he is. I don't agree with you, Sir Stuart. From Lord's point of view, you are the beast. Yes. <laughs> Sir Stuart, facing this superior strength, I think it would be wiser to retreat. Miss Bloomsdale, we can't wait anymore. It won't work. I can't come with you to England. I belong to my family and to this place. And if I stay with you? At first, Professor Bloomsdale didn't agree to lend a stang with Lloyd. But then his scientific curiosity prevailed, and he decided to see it as an experiment. He decided to visit Linda once a year, but with people who didn't see animals like Sir Stuart. Linda and Lord were glad, and soon Sheena was glad as well. yourselves. I'm going to watch the children. Well, I have to tell you, Miss Sheena, never could I imagine that my grandchildren would have a monkey grandma. Interesting, isn't it?